Hey, it's David Baer here from Baer on Marketing. In this video, I'm going to uh, answer a question that I'm most commonly asked when it comes to managing social media, and that's what third-party tool uh, should I use when I want to manage multiple accounts or manage multiple platforms all in one place so I don't have to keep logging in and logging out of different accounts or different websites. And uh, the one that I hear most often when this question is asked uh, is a site called Hootsuite. It's a platform that uh, came out uh, originally to manage multiple Twitter accounts and has uh, expanded into the management of lots of different platforms. And I'm going to actually dig into that uh, site now so that you can see how it works works, uh, what the benefits are, and also what some of the downsides are of Hootsuite. And then I'm going to show you a couple of other tools that I use in my business uh, and recommend to clients uh, for management of uh, their, t their platforms uh, in both Facebook and uh, and Twitter primarily. So let's uh, jump into Hootsuite. So this is the inside of uh, one of my accounts. Um, this is a non-pro version, the free version, and there are some limitations on the free version. You can only manage three social profiles uh, in the free version, and um, there are also some uh, uh, disadvantages to Hootsuite in terms of creative uh, stuff, analytics, uh, um, uh, and that that kind of thing. Uh, but let me let me show you how this all works. So there's basically basically a uh, dashboard here and I have um, different things that I can follow on the dashboard at any given time. So in this case, I'm looking at one of my Twitter accounts, uh, messages from people so that uh, anybody who direct messages me, I can track all of that right here. Uh, mentions. So if somebody is mentioning me, I know that they've mentioned me and I can easily reply to them right here, you know. Um, so somebody mentioned me, I can say thank you for the, the mention or I can I can uh, respond to them, whatever it may be. Now if I want to, um, uh, in, in, in LinkedIn, I can uh, also see uh, the stuff that's in my LinkedIn feed. And then here I'm tracking one of my Facebook groups uh, that I manage uh, with the most amount of activity so that I can easily respond to people uh, in this platform uh, rather than having to log into that, uh, that group inside of Facebook. Um, and in all honesty, I actually don't use this platform to manage these things. I use other platforms uh, instead. I used to be a pro account user on uh, Hootsuite and no longer use it simply because uh, it does have a few drawbacks uh, and it doesn't um, provide me with the analytical data on what other people are doing, which is really important to me uh, and not as important uh, what what my stuff is doing because I can track that in, in lots of different places. So let's say I want to compose um, a content and I want to um, schedule it out someplace, I want to share a link. All you do is you do that up here. Uh, you can decide which of your uh, accounts you want to share this with. Um, in this case, um, I have three profiles in here. That's the limit to the free version uh, and um, uh, you're not really able to do um, uh, everything that you can in the pro version with this. Uh, I have the ability to attach media, so uh, videos now can be attached, uh, images can be attached, I can schedule this out into the future, I can add the location where I'm, I'm uh, um, sharing this from, I can actually target uh, within uh, Facebook specifically, I can target uh, specific types of uh, individuals and I can also do that with, uh, with Twitter accounts as well and I can choose privacy options if I wish to um, too. So let's just clear that. And there are other uh, abilities that I don't have here because I'm in the free account, but um, I can do uh, scheduling stuff. Let's see if I can run over to the publisher and I can um, track things that have been in the past. Uh, I can manage an entire team. So if somebody uh, else on my team wants to schedule something and then we have a, an approval process for uh, getting that um, posted into our social accounts, I can run RSS feeds from different sites. So if I have a blog, for example, and I want to automate my posting from the RSS uh, feed, that's another option. And finally, there's a Google uh, Chrome extension that I can install and share directly from my, uh, my Chrome browser. If I'm on a web page, uh, I can just click that, um, uh, that, that button up at the top and uh, it will automatically uh, integrate that with uh, my Hootsuite account and, uh, and, and schedule that uh, according to whatever um, rules I have uh, established about what I'm sharing. So this is Hootsuite. I like it a lot. Uh, it uh, doesn't ultimately fulfill all of my needs and it's one of the reasons why I uh, primarily do my work in a platform called Post Planner. 
Now, what Post Planner does is, in addition to being able to uh, manage multiple accounts and schedule out uh, my content well in advance, it also does research for me. It tells me what else other people, other accounts, are posting on uh, various social networks, uh, specifically Facebook, um, uh, Twitter, and uh, uh, Pinterest. Uh, as well, I'm sorry, not Pinterest, Instagram, and um, and then pulls information from RSS feeds and uh, other places around the web, and then tells me through their algorithms what is the most popular, what's getting shared, uh, commented on, um, liked the most, and uh, gives me ideas for what I want to either create for myself or simply share from other people's content. So. In this case, there's a, a whole lineup of uh, uh, default stuff um, that they have uh, preloaded, quotes, engaging content, uh, um, interesting content, funny content, business, marketing, uh, top news, and just random stuff. Uh, and I can use that. Uh, in fact, you can see all these photos here. So um, you can also see status updates uh, that, that have been uh, shared as, as quotes. Uh, we can change to engaging stuff and we can see um, what it will give us there. So photos, articles, and status updates uh, in this area as well. And and they're ranked on a five-star system. I can see when I hover over this that this got 9.4 thousand likes and 9.5 thousand shares. Uh, and it's something that I can simply click share. Uh, and I can make a little comment here and share it um, uh, immediately in my, in my plan. Uh, or I can uh, schedule it right now if I like. Now there's something called a share bar here. And let me just click on that. And you can see that... Uh, with my account here, I can uh, embed any content that I share under a uh, bar at the top of the page with a call to action that stays in place. So you see how that works? And so I can um, have people click over to my website. I can have people uh, click over here to sign up for um, my, uh, my, my weekly training, uh, as well as include uh, my Facebook and Twitter uh, links for those accounts. So that's another benefit to uh, being able to share stuff inside a post planner is that I can uh, include my own call to action content uh, on the the content that I share with other people. Now, let's say uh, I don't like the uh, the details of the stuff that they have in their default. I can also um, do a search up at the top for my particular subject matter. So let's say um, I want to do something about uh, team building. Spell it correctly here. So team building, it will uh, show me, in this case, it's showing me um, uh, some Facebook accounts and some uh, RSS feed uh, on, that, on that just general term. Let's see if I wanna do something on leadership. Uh, we'll see what it's going to give me on that. So a bunch of Facebook fan pages, uh, some Instagram uh, accounts, some Twitter accounts, and again, just the, the keyword. So let's say I want to um, search, let's go ahead and, and just look at the hashtag leadership uh, from Instagram. And it's going to show me all of these things that have gotten a ton of engagement. So I can uh, decide that you know this is a, a quote that I want to share. I'll go ahead and click share. Uh, I can make a comment on it. And it automatically will uh, identify, give credit to where this uh, image originated. If, however, uh, I'd like to take this idea of this image, so let's go ahead and, and we'll cancel that out. Let's say I want to uh, recreate this myself. One smile can start a friendship, blah, blah, blah. And I want to create that. All I need to do is go up here. Let's see if I, let's close out of this. Right, go up here and Actually, I, I'm searching and what I want to do is post. Okay, so uh, I've gotten the idea of what I want to create. I can go up here. <laughs> there we go, better. And I can click on this little button right here and it's going to open up a little popover from the uh, design website called Canva. And I can immediately uh, design my own content right here. So let's say I want to um, create something here. I can, I can say, you know, um, this is my custom post. Although I could have taken that content that I just saw, that quote that I saw from the other um, uh, the other site there, and I could have um, recreated that myself. But in this case, I'm just going to say this is my custom post. Um, maybe I'll, you know, if I, if I use Canva a lot, I could even uh, customize it with my own uh, images, etc. So here you go, you'll see um, there, this is my custom post. There's a goofy picture of me. 
Um, I can move this over, and this is really not a tutorial on Canva, so I should get out of here pretty quickly. Um, but there you go. All right, so I've done that, and all I hit is publish, and it's now going to go back to uh, Post Planner and take this content that I've just created. Uh, in this case, I was suggesting that it was inspired by uh, somebody else's popular content, but I can take a, um, a piece of content that I see, go, oh, this is great. I can click on Canva quickly, make something, and now I have my custom version, maybe uh, you know, with my logo or something down there, and I can decide which of my accounts I want to share this with. In this case, this is going to my Facebook uh, fan page and one of my Twitter accounts, but I can add an additional profile uh, to this if I wish. Um, I'm using the Guru um, uh, version of this, and this is, um, I, I think this allows me up to 25 different accounts uh, between um, Facebook and Twitter, and then I can also post to Pinterest from this platform. So uh, that's just a quick look at how this all works. I can also do things like um, have a schedule uh, in place so that I can say, okay, at 7 a.m. Uh, on Wednesday and Thursday, you can post uh, photos and links only, and at 8.45, uh, post um, uh, uh, um, uh, quotes or comments or, or uh, uh, other types of uh, status shares, status updates. And so I can, I can schedule this out and I can schedule it specifically based on what I know my, um, my audience is, uh, is doing on, online, when they're online, and all of those sorts of things. Uh, so I can be very, very specific about when I automate the posting, and therefore I'm going to be able to um, get my stuff in front of my audience at the right time in the right place. So that's a quick look at how Post Planner works. Um, finally, I want to share with you a uh, tool that I use called uh, Community or C Commune IT, um, which is a management tool for, in this case, I just use it for Twitter. You can uh, upgrade. I have the business plan, but you can upgrade to uh, a higher level plan uh, to manage Facebook as well. And this is really sophisticated analytics that uh, will show you um, influencers in your space. It'll show you people who are engaged in your content, and it will tell you exactly what you ought to do in terms of replying to people, retweeting people stuff, who you should be following, who you should unfollow, um, who you should thank for um, uh, for mentions and uh, reply to, as well as uh, a whole bunch of automation. And so that's what these campaigns are that I'm going to show you right now, uh, where I can do a daily tweet uh, saying, you know, hey, happy Monday, uh, great to see you, and then mention a few people, or thank people for following you, or thank people for being... Um, uh, regular uh, contributors to your account. So I have a whole bunch of uh, things that are completely automated, as you can see here, um, to be able to engage with people without me having to actually be there. And uh, it's a very, very handy tool when it comes to managing your Twitter accounts uh, and getting people to continue to um, be engaged and involved with your accounts even when you're not there to do it um, uh, live. So those are the, the three platforms that I uh, uh, like to recommend and share with people. They each really fulfill a different purpose and uh, hopefully um, you've found uh, something in one of these or um, a, a couple of these that you like and uh, may be able to take advantage of in your business.